children, it's Sunday, my favorite day of the week. And it is December 6th, which means we open the sixth panel today. I know that some of you are watching even from Florida, and we're so glad to have everyone watching us from all over the place. So December 6th, let's read in our little book to see what we have to learn on December 6th. What a wonderful picture. December 6th, Sarah declared, God has brought me laughter. All who hear about this will laugh with me. Genesis 21, 6. Abram, now called Abraham, and his wife Sarah had heard God's promise under the stars. They heard God say that God's promises of love would live on through their children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren. But there was just one small teeny tiny problem. They didn't, have an e they didn't have even one kid. And now they were very, very old. All they had was this one worn out prayer that they would have a child to hold and laugh with and love forever. Would God give them a wondrous, miraculous child of their own? God had a plan. Abraham, God said, everything is always more than it seems, more than you can see. I am sending you a child. Through that child, Abraham's whole family would grow wondrously humongous and the whole earth would be blessed. Abraham laughed so hard that his belly shook. Could this really be true? Many months went by. The stars came out, blinking in amazement every night. Sometimes Abraham and Sarah tried to count the millions and billions and trillions of them. And then when Abraham was 100 years old and his beard was wide and long, Sarah had a baby, a baby boy. Abraham leaned in close over the baby, his forehead gently touching Sarah's. Isaac, Abraham smiled. Isaac means laughter. They would laugh with him and love him forever and ever. Do you know the name of the most wondrous, miraculous child who came to us? Jesus. Because of Jesus, we can laugh the loudest and happiest too. Sadness is not the end of any story. Jesus is the end of our story, and he is also the beginning of our best story. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, thank you that you can make the impossible possible. We're going to look for you in all our stories. Joy to the world, for you have come and you keep coming. Amen. Okay, let's see what's under number six. Oh, what is that? It's shoot. it's shoes. I'm not quite sure what it is. I think it's shoes. Okay, shoes. So, what do you think shoes mean for number six? Hmm, I'm not quite sure. I'm going to put shoes over here on the side. Well, maybe right there where you can see it. Hmm, I wonder what those shoes are for. Maybe you can tell me. All right, it's number six for our Sunday. I hope you have a great Sunday. And I hope you truly tell God how much you love God and tell your family too. <laughs>